द बिल्डर्स ऑफ इंडिया हेरीटेज गौतमा द फादर ऑफ लॉजिक एट द फूट ऑफ द हिमालय लिवड अ ऋषि He passed most of his time inside a cave, engrossed in deep meditation. He was hardly aware of the sunrise and the sunset, or the rain and the storm. Neither did he realize when one reason gave way to another. No wonder that when it came to walking the road, such a sage should be quite unmindful of the dangers before him. his eyes remained half closed while his mind was occupied with some great issues of philosophy while walking in his fashion he once fell into a pit he lay dazed for a moment and then got up but he was quite angry angry with his own body if the eyes could not see the pit should this feet too have failed to notice it it was rather a strange question one sees with the eyes and not with the feet but that is so only with the ordinary human beings he was gautama a rishi who had practiced the most severe form of brahmacharya for a very long time consequently he had developed mastery over his limbs and so great was the mastery that uh, his strong will could at once make a pair of eyes pop out on his feet and gautama walked fearlessly thenceforth if the eyes on the face did not focus themselves on the road the eyes on the feet did no more accident befell the sage the story perhaps significates that a great yogi can arouse sleeping powers in his limbs and can do what might sound fantastic to an ordinary human being the more famous legend concerning gautama is about his curse on his wife once displeased with his beautiful wife ahalya he reduced her to a block of stone she lay in that form for centuries in the vast forest the dantya karnaya it was when rama the incarnation of vishnu trod on her that she sprang back to life and was united with gautama again but gautama does not live in legends alone he is considered the father of indian logic for his systematic exposition of ideas famous as the nyaya sutra he drives at the truth step by step in a logical convincing manner for example he states that every effect has a cause whatever produces an effect exists behind the effect the world we see must be having an omniscient being behind it as the cause of its creation thus he proves the existence of god gautama saw 16 basic substances in the world and he made an investigation into their nature according to him in four ways can an object be known through perception pratyaksha inference anumana comparison upamana and testimony apta vakya by the authority gautama knew that the truth can be known by the inner perception nevertheless he wanted to make a proper use of the intellect in man's quest for truth and showed us the way to do it thanks for watching support us by subscribing our channel